Buenos días. ¿Cómo está? School isn't just the four walls that we see here sitting in this building. Our job is to educate children, and that starts when they're very, very young. They are a part of our community. Do I have books? We are one of two schools in Miller Public Schools that are part of the superintendent's early childhood plan. So what that means is we partner with the Buffett Institute and um, we were selected as a school to be a part of that plan based on our poverty rate. When I first came to Nebraska, I wanted to use this opportunity to work on some projects that I thought of that uh, remain significant challenges for us. And what could we do uh, together that would result in closing race-based and uh, income-based gaps between children coming from different backgrounds? The superintendent's plan um, came together um, marvelously. It not only helps the Miller Public Schools, it helps the Douglas and Sarpy County area. And we want Omaha to be the best place to raise a baby. We want it to be the best place to have a career. And this work does that. There are three focused areas in this plan. One has to do with the full implementation work that we're doing in a dozen schools. And these programs all begin at birth with home visiting, move on through a rigorous pre-K program, on to an alignment through third grade. A second element of this is what we call technical assistance. And then a third area of this is what we call PD for all, professional development for all. What we're trying to do some here is something that begins early and is persistent. Persistence of effort will yield persistence of effect. All through the town until it got stuck. Take your favorite book to mama. Take it to mama. Let me see. So the idea behind the superintendent's plan is that we are touching children's lives very, very early on. And what comes with that plan is um, certain positions. Home visitor is one of those. The home visitor services uh, children from birth through age three and works very closely with the parents on showing them what does developmental play look like. And once students reach age three, they can transition into our preschool program that's right here in the school. And the family facilitator is that liaison between school and home. And then once students um, are finished with preschool, they transition into the K-5 program and the support staff of an educational facilitator that works primarily with the classroom teachers so that they feel equipped and supported to be able to teach all students. We committed to the school as hub. The school is a very important force within the neighborhoods and the communities where we live. You all are your child's first teacher, so you're the most important one to teach them how to read. So today, Sandoz is hosting our very first pajama party for our babies and families with uh, children birth to three. Families will get an opportunity to talk a little bit about the importance of routine and how we can incorporate literacy. Baby llama starts boo-hooing. The school readiness is the goal. Really, we look at our families, our children. They're an investment in our community. So the children from an early age all the way through are beginning to learn about the school, its surroundings, as well as to have the family feel that they're part of the, their team of their school, and in our case, the Sandoz team. That builds consistency, that builds relationships, that builds opportunity. Um, it makes it so that it's a comfortable place to be. And more than anything, if we can have a safe place, a comfortable place, then we can focus on learning. So share with us a little bit about the last one, because I know you tried some unique things. Yes. Um, the attendance was quite high on that one, right, with several families. The workforce, of course, is absolutely critical to this. If we do not have a knowledgeable, a skilled, and a diverse workforce, we will not be able to accomplish our goals. I highly encourage my staff to not think in silos of how do we look at supporting families and children, regardless of what our title may be. We want to make sure that everybody who touches that child in this school is aware of how we are supporting them and what we're seeing in return is our classroom teachers are doing the same to make sure that we have an agenda that is full and rich of how are we supporting families beyond the four walls here at Sandoz.
school as hub, it's so unique in the fact that it starts at birth. This is about making the, the world open up for children from the very get-go. It just becomes part of their, their life from day one. Because we've had this plan for now, this is our third year, we know it's closing the achievement gap. We know that kids are more successful because of the support system they have in school as well as out of school. What we're trying to do here is to use the best knowledge available and apply it about curriculum about early development, about relationships across communities. What we're doing here is to try to bring that all together and put it into practice and then show people what happens as a result of all that.